introduction can you name this organism yeah this is amoeba name these organisms as well the first one is a tree and the second a dinosaur identify these creatures snake eagle and dolphins do you know how was the life on earth million and million years ago and how did such a large variety of organisms emerge from the primitive earth no i don't know let me explain to you what happened on earth million years ago and how all the organisms dinosaur amoeba plants and other animals evolved objectives at the end of this lesson you'll be able to understand the big bang theory understand the miller's experiment to prove the theory proposed by oparin and haldane understand the evolution of life forms identify various evidences of evolution identify the differences between analogous and homologous organs understand the concept of adaptive radiation big bang theory big bang theory explains what happened at the beginning of the universe according to the theory a single huge explosion expanded the universe thus lowering its temperature after some time hydrogen and helium were formed followed by other gases the gases condensed under gravitation and formed the galaxies earth was formed 4.5 billion year back in the solar system of milky way galaxy formation of earth's atmosphere there was no atmosphere on early earth the surface of earth was covered by water vapor methane carbon dioxide and ammonia released from molten mass water was broken up by the uv rays from sun into hydrogen and oxygen oxygen combined with ammonia and methane to form water and co2 as a result the ozone layer was formed when the temperature decreased water vapor fell down as rain to form oceans life started 500 million years after the formation of earth theory of spontaneous generation according to early greeks spores were the units of life transferred to different planets louis pasteur experimentally demonstrated that life arises from pre-existing life this is referred to as theory of spontaneous generation he used to prove his theory in the following two ways life did not come from killed yeast in a pre-sterilized flask New living organisms arose from killed yeast in a flask open to air. Thus, life comes only from pre-existing life. Oparin-Haldane theory of origin of life. According to Oparin and Haldane, chemical evolution preceded life formation. Life evolved in the oceans when the atmosphere was reducing, containing H2, H2O, NH3, CH4, and CO2, but no free O2. Organic compounds were synthesized non-biologically by ultraviolet light energy. Without free O2 to oxidize them, these organic molecules were stable and accumulated in a warm, dilute broth. These molecules created a membrane around themselves to prevent them from being destroyed. Such organelles absorbed chemicals, grew, divide, and obtained energy by fermenting the available organic molecules around them. 
This is how the first life form emerged. Miller's Experiments In 1953, S. L. Miller created conditions in a laboratory similar to those prevailing on early Earth. He created electric discharge in a closed flask containing CH4, H2, NH3 and water vapor at 800 degrees Celsius. He observed that ammonia acids, sugars, nitrogen bases, pigments and fats were formed after some time. This experiment supported that chemical evolution preceded formation of life. Theory of Special Creation Theory of Special Creation has three connotations according to conventional religious literature. All living organisms that we see today were created as such. The diversity was always the same since creation and will be the same in future also. Earth is about 4000 years old. Charles Darwin theory on evolution of life forms. Charles Darwin concluded that existing living forms share similarities to varying degrees not only among themselves but also with life forms that existed millions of years ago. He stated that every population has built-in variation in characteristics that enabled some to survive better in natural conditions. This is referred to as fitness. Thus, those who better fit in an environment are selected by nature. This was termed as natural selection and was implied as a mechanism of evolution. Evidence for Evolution Evidences to support the evolution of life forms on Earth comes through the study of fossils, comparative anatomy and morphology of various life forms. Fossils Fossils are the remains of hard parts of life forms found in rocks. The study of different aged rock sediments containing fossils showed that life forms varied over time and certain life forms are restricted to certain geographical time spans. Such evidence is referred to as paleontological evidence. Homologous structures When same structures develop along different directions due to adaptations to different needs, it is termed as divergent evolution. Such structures are called homologous structures. Example Bones of forelimbs of human beings, whales and bats are homologous. Analogous structures When different structures evolve for the same functions, it is termed as convergent evolution. Such structures are anatomically dissimilar, though they perform similar functions. These are called analogous structures. Example Wings of butterfly, bird and bat. Adaptive radiations The process of evolution of different species in a given geographical area starting from a point and literally radiating to other areas of geography is called adaptive radiation. Examples Darwin finches of Galapagos Islands Australian marsupials Did you know, advances in developmental genetics, paleontology and evolutionary developmental biology shows that generative processes and cell type specification mechanisms in animal allows many structures to evolve independently and not from pre-existing life forms. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Most scientists believe chemical evolution 
that is, formation of biomolecules preceded the appearance of the first cellular forms of life. Charles Darwin concluded that existing living forms share similarities to varying degrees not only among themselves but also with life forms that existed millions of years ago. Fossils are the remains of hard parts of life forms found in rocks. Similar structures performing different functions are called homologous structures. Anatomically dissimilar structures performing similar functions are called analogous structures.